Special Prime Time Edition of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams Taking on Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Rams. SoFi Stadium. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So out come the Rams down for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And his arm strength is often described as out of this world, and I've seen some throws out of him that are just really off the charts. But sometimes he relied on his arm so much his footwork got in the way, led to some inconsistency. But I've loved watching him evolve as a quarterback. He gets better and better each year. First down. And he's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now this throw caught left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To the outside, this is complete to Jackson. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play, and immediately got to the pass. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. To the air again, Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. 
And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Stafford looks to throw again. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. They'll run here with Akers. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line, knocking on the door. Give him four on the carry there and second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. On the, return. the Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And one of the things that I think that Derek Carr's really improved in doing since college is his ability to stay in the pocket, things swirling around him, find the right guy and deliver the ball with accuracy. Derek Carr has great touch when he throws the football. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 22. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after it. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Another try after the first down sack. Carr, a hit as he throws there, incomplete. Amara Darbo, the one he 
was looking for. But now it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Carr. It's a screen to Richard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. <laughs> Webster now to return. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger, a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. And this is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Stafford. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run this with Akers. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. The ball carrier. He was brought down by Carl Joseph. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Here's second and nine. They'll run here with Akers. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Throwing a Stanford. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. Intended for Cam Akers. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Makes the score Rams 10, Raiders nothing. 
So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. To the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. Jalen Richard now on the return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Car now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Hunter Renfro is a man he was looking for. But it'll be second down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Car again here on second and ten. That's caught by Walter out left side. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards on the play, first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. and 10. Here's Carr. That is incomplete. Amara Darbo, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Now an Eastern Michigan man, Darius Jackson on the carry. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He'll find his running back here, Richard. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. And this will pit him nicely inside the 20 as it's out of bounds at about the 14-yard line. At their own 14-yard line. Here comes Matthew Stafford now to lead his offense back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
They'll begin on the ground with Akers. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, here's Stafford. That'll be caught by Cup. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Looking deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to have this down deep into Vegas territory. 36 yards on the play. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the gun, Stanford. And he's got it. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll look to run with Akers. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Cam Akers with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams add on to their lead. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown.
After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. On first down, Carr. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Shotgun now for Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. Complete seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. The gain of seven brings up second and three at the 33-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. The left side completion to Jones. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. The kick by Carlson is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. 17, Raiders three. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. Time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. On the return, the Rams take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we have come to halftime and what's already a two touchdown game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
Bears are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, it's Carr. That's complete to Richard, the running back. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On third down, this is Jackson. Uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. On first down, Stafford here. And down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. Solomon Thomas, they love to see that from him as he slips in for the sack. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down, but now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford, they'll get this with the cup complete. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, attacking. 
tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Raiders will take over now first and ten. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 22. Two. They'll begin on the ground with Jenkins. Now he's able to break to one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Looking to throw on second down. Carr, and he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. So one quick easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So now Carr and the Raiders dealt a third and long after that sack. To throw his car. And this is going to be incomplete. And that went off the mark a little late with a throw. Three and out. Fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 46-yard line. Operating from the gun. Stafford going right side here, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. To throw is Stafford. And this is taken in by the tight end, Bryson Hopkins. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. 
Well, it's a jet sweep, the football to Woods. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Nick Witkowski there on the tackle. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 24-yard line. Second down and four. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. So he's in for his third score of the game. And defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you. But for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game. And no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. Gay is on for the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Five plays there on that drive. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. This will come out to the 25. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. The Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. <laughs> Throwing again. Carr. And he's got that one complete to Darbo. Carr. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and lead the game out that way. The Raiders on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and four. 
He's got Snee. And he's going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Sack looking up at a third and long. On play action, now Carr. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held a team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass first league. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by David Moore. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Henderson now on first and ten. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They run once more with Henderson. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. 
But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Man open, it's Cop. He's got it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. This is Henderson. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. A gain of three, second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Again, it's Henderson. Man, he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has a total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. On third down, here's Henderson. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. Charles Davis and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.